Oh, pace yourself. Dinner could be a while. It's almost ready now. Traveler, please light the campfire and gather everyone for dinner. a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. This is no good hunter, but there should be enough to go around. Please, help yourselves. Wow, smells great. Don't mind if I do. Wait, don't steal all the fried vegetables. Uh, leave some for me. Hey! Ah, Paimon's full. What a great meal! Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in a top restaurant. Are all alchemists so good at cooking? Hmm. You may be onto something there. Right? Paimon thinks so too! It's his lab manner that gives it away. The kind of guy who holds a potion bottle as steady as a rock isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be slapdash with his salt and pepper. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm so sleepy after all that food. Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> he must be totally wiped out. The way he's sleeping is so... alert. I'm impressed. <sighs> he seems to be in a deep sleep! Ooh, Paimon wonders if he sleep talks! Uh, oh, no, Dad. No apples for me. I want sticky honey roast and fisherman's toast. Sticky honey roast? That's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. She said we ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> She also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Ah, it's nice that you two are so close. The Traveler and Paimon always eat together too. It's a sure sign of true friendship. Two people simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. That depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. Aha! Paimon just noticed something. Whenever Eula doesn't want to admit to something, she raises her chin or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> ah, you've all picked up on that. Didn't know Eula's tells were so easy to spot. <sighs> we are done here, yes. I am free to go, am I not? Then please excuse me. I have a frozen lake I need to be at. You're going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! Don't go without me! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. So maybe you should stay here and rest. No, I should come with you. It's late, and it's dark, and you're not good with directions like I am. Come on, let's go together! An ice bath? Whew, rather them than Paimon. So much roast meat. Oh, hey, Dad. I'm doing all right. I'm a leader of my own adventure team now. Wow. Ben, it really is a sleep talker. Okay, looks like we got some downtime now. All right, you two. Time to paint. Have you decided what to paint? 
Like you even need to ask. It's obviously going to be Paimon. Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Okie dokie! Alright, grab your easel, paper, brushes, and paints. Don't leave anything behind. Don't touch that mechanism or you'll fall down. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, what the heck is this guy dreaming about? Here. Allow Paimon to adopt an elegant pose for your artistic reference. Hey! What's that look for? Uh, cut the attitude and start putting your perfect Paimon down on the page! You better take this seriously, because this is going on Paimon's wall! Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. Quality. And those eyes! Those boring, lifeless eyes! Where's the soul? Uh, Traveler? Have you previously received any education in the fine arts? Oh, really? So it's just a hobby then? Oh, well that sure explains a lot. There's no way you would have made Paimon look like this if you'd had any amount of formal training. Fascinating. Paimon, if this is not to your liking, I can make a few amendments. Uh, Traveler, what do you think? <sighs> Alright then. Paimon, is this better? It's... Adding flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art... art. This is not to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level, rather that the real you and the you in the painting present two different styles of beauty. You remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. Oh, I merely added a flourish here and there. You should be thanking the Traveler. In truth, ground-up overall is more or less an accurate description. The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes it. 
<laughs> Great! Paimon has a portrait painting. Paimon's gonna show this off to everyone. It's nothing. I can paint you next time, if you'd like. You can hang it in your home as a souvenir. I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. But... I don't dislike it. Liveliness is a rare thing here on Dragonspine. Ah, it's a new day! Let's go meet up with everyone! Hey, good morning! <sighs> I slept great last night. How about you guys? All rested up? I'm fine, as usual. The path down the mountain is easier to follow in the daylight. Let's take this chance to head down to the base camp. Let's go! If we make good time, maybe we can all get lunch together. I flipped another insignia just outside the camp. Wrong again! So your bad luck is all used up. We'll be down the mountain in no time. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Today's the day. Huh? Uh, oh no, avalanche! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, are you all right? Are you hurt? Uh, Paimon's fine. Oh, that's good. My arm got a little scratched up, but it's nothing serious. I'm okay, but I don't see the other two. I'm afraid the avalanche may have pushed them off the cliff. They fell down? They'll be okay though, right? I think they're both robust enough to survive the fall. But if the falling debris knocked them unconscious, and they're lying there in the freezing cold. We have to get down there and rescue them. Immediately. Okay, let's move. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> 